Oh boy. That's what these guys are about. I mean, is there? There can't be. Look at, oh boy. Big Bertha. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Man, oh man, do we got an exciting video today, folks. It took me, uh, what did it take me? It took me about a year to finally do this. This is my first ever snake clutch that I have ever produced, and man, Oh man, am I super excited. Now, if we have any OG fans here on the channel, you guys know they did try my luck with snake breeding. Uh, I think it was about a year and a half ago, something like that. We had some Mexican black king snakes. Uh, I bred them. They actually didn't go, sorry, my light just turned off because it ran out of battery. Uh, I bred them, it didn't go very well. I got an infertile clutch and at that point in time, the MBK market was actually crashing like pretty heavily. Uh, so I made the uh, business decision to actually trade off the pair and that's how I got my super red toke instead. Well, on top of a few other trades and sells because that was <laughs> that was not a cheap gecko I'll tell you that right now of course it is not all sunshines and rainbows with this clutch there is an actual problem going on that I am uh, uh, slightly concerned about well uh, I won't explain it. Let, let's get into the video. Let's showcase it and then we'll talk about it a little more all right all right let's cue past Dakota about five days ago go <laughs> Okie dokie folks, we have a very exciting time here that we're gonna take a quick pause of whatever video I decide to paste this onto and that's a fact if you can just point that camera slightly down We finally got these eggs pipped now judging by the way you could look at these eggs I thought these things were a complete bust you can see I don't think these are fertile I definitely I mean that is just as flat as can be and they all just look kind of bad So I just assumed I kind of just put them on the back burner I really didn't think anything was gonna come of these guys and eventually I was like, okay August will come it'll be day six y'all caught them be infertile, whatever. But as you can see, I went to go check on them today and we got a little baby Pippin. Not only do we have that baby Pippin its head out, that's gonna be a little too close. It's just gonna be blurry. You gotta got enhance image, enhance. That's an enhanced image right there. You can see we got a couple slits also on these two eggs. So we're gonna cut these a little further. I doubt these are fertile. This, this was all a part of one clutch and then this one right here was kind of fallen off. They wasn't stuck together. So we'll see what happens. But um, like I said, we got this beautiful baby right here. I'm gonna start making an indent on this guy right here just so we can see what's going on in there. And let's get this started. Now I do want to I do want to let you guys know, this is my first time ever doing this. This is the first snake clutch we have ever hatched out, so I might be really bad. Also, I'm probably not going to tell you what morph they are because I probably don't know right off the bat. I'm not good. Anyway, now that that disclaimer is out of the way, let's get this started. Now, I'm actually going to do what's easier for me and not what makes better video content. Guy. Okay. You got a little beauty right there. Again, I'm not even gonna try. I, I am not good at the morph game and identifying morphs right away, so you're not gonna see me going like, oh, that's the banana entry pastel leopard calico, because one, this is like a three, I, I honestly with a three gene. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the eggs. That gives me a little bit of leverage. incision here little dude so obviously these three are good uh, the rest are the ones I'm not so mm -hmm. do you see this do you see what I deal with on a daily basis go back on the couch all right so four good eggs going on I'm uh, this clutch actually looks pretty good man I honestly they look like a bunch of normal. I didn't put any um, color mutations in on this. This was simply a super entry blade to a normal. So personally, especially for me, it's gonna be very hard identifying what's what because the entry and the blade don't look significantly different from a normal. I mean, at least they're like a novice. I'm sure all you ball python experts are grilling me right now. Like, I can't believe you can't tell an entry from a normal. What a noob. Look how he cuts his eggs. He's the worst. Let's see what these guys are about. I mean... Mm. Is there? There can't be. Look at this thing. Look how flat this is. Let's... <laughs> Look at that, dude. That's a nice one. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is definitely a blade. Look at me making wild accusations. What am I, a ball python breeder? Get out of here. Um, that's awesome. This just goes to show you that it doesn't really matter how um, just 
awful the eggs look. I mean, look, this is the trashiest you can get eggs looking. They're dried up, they're not fully calcified, there's windowing, this is, looks like mold, I don't know, this just started. They all look crap, and yet they're all viable, whoa. How's my hair look, funky fresh? Looks great. Funky fresh? Totally funky fresh. I need fresh. funky, I need the funky fresh. It's, it's like the funkiest, freshest hair I've ever seen. Uh, but yeah, all seven are looking good. Uh, this is absolutely my favorite. It looks like this guy got a little dried out, so we helped him out and he went back in the egg, but if we can just get a little bit, look at that body, man. That's looking good. You can see the little umbilical cord down there as well, which is very exciting. Is that getting on it? Yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah. This guy looks absolutely well. This might be the full three gene. I'm not entirely sure. I'll know, I'll have a better idea when they're out of the egg, but so far that's looking absolutely the best. But all seven of these are viable, so we got seven new ball pythons coming in. Uh, very excited. Um, let's get back to whatever this video is about because I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this yet. <laughs> Okie dokie folks, taking a quick intermission. We are back here in the reptile building and boy, oh boy, does this place look a lot different. Let's just take a second to admire the beauty. Wow, just, let's just block out that big ass dirt pile. Wow, look at the beauty. It is incredible. Look at how nice and clean this room is now. Yes sir, over the past five, three, eight days or so, I have been cleaning this place up, making it look all nice and dandy. Uh, almost done now, not too much more work to go. Of course, we gotta get the dust piles out of here. We'll have to get, there's some stuff on top of the tents I wanna get taken down. And then obviously, last but not least, we'll have to set up the walls for the barrier for that free roaming plan I've got in store for you guys. What? Oh, that, that's probably because you guys didn't watch this video right here, which if you're a little confused, that's the spot to go if you want to know more. Oh boy. That's a bit <laughs> Well, I'd say this place is looking pretty tip-top shape. Still some work to go, but not much else left. That is if you don't look over in this corner. Final stage over here is we got all this junk out in the corner. It's getting a little dark here. We got all this junk out in the corner. I just need to bring it downstairs now, separate what's junk and what's to keep, and then we are good to go. However, as long as you don't pay attention to what's over there on that side, if you come over to this side, wow. Look at how nice and beautiful it looks. Boy, you can see this girl's getting, she's got her spunk back, that is for sure. She's trying to get at me, she thinks there's food. It's just a camera, sweetie. Sweetie, it's just a camera. Calm down, calm down. Jeez, you wouldn't believe that I literally just fed her a good meal yesterday, but as you can see, she's getting her weight back, she's getting her spunk back. It's a little bit more to go. She does look a little bit skinny, but she doesn't look like emaciated and deflated like she used to. She's looking pretty good now, almost there. Just probably I'd give it a couple more weeks with a couple of more big feedings and we'll have a nice, beautiful monitor back to the way she was. Sweetie. Oh boy. Argus monitors, man. They are nothing but spunk. 24 hours, she immediately starts basting, but then obviously she's gotta get that tail. Oh, oh, oh. Every time I move my hand to zoom, she's like, That's, is that food? Are you feeding me? Are you feeding I'm not feeding you, dude. I'm not feeding you, it's over. Food was yesterday, calm down. Which, by the way, folks, if you guys are new to the channel, you made it this far into the video, if you do me a huge favor, go down there, hit that subscribe button for your boy over here. We're on the road to 100,000 and man, Oh, man, your boy wants that play button, so do me a favor, be a part of the DBCB army. Oof. I, don't, I don't like, just hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh boy. Big Bertha. For those of you that don't know, Big Bertha is one of my Florida imported tegus, and she is, uh... Well, she's a little bit fresh, to say the least. <laughs> enough. I've never actually tried just hopping into the enclosure and seeing how she reacts. I am only slightly concerned about what she's going to do, but we'll just come on in here. We'll hang out in the corner. Oh my God, it's humid in here. Grow tents, folks, they work great. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, Big Bertha, how you doing? Take a look at this lovely little lady right here. Wow. Pretty big tegu, still not full size, but getting there, man. She is the largest tegus out of the uh, three that I own right now, and she's looking good. Let's just, uh... Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa there, little lady. Okay, okay, we'll give you your privacy, no worry. Don't gotta worry about me. It seems Big Bertha doesn't like me being in her home, so we'll leave. Sorry, honey, that's a my bad. I thought you'd like me by now, but guess not. Now, some of you guys know there's actually a pair of tegus in that enclosure, and unfortunately, I did have to separate them. Uh, it's a bit of a story. I'll probably make a video about it sometime this week, but a little bit of a, I guess, sad story, you want to say. It's not completely sad and hopeless, but it's, uh, 
not where I want it to be, I guess. Well, let's, uh, I guess that's just, uh, just a tiny bit of foreshadowing for the future of what you can uh, expect of a video. Well, folks, I've kind of made this video just a tinty bitsy bit too long, so we're gonna have to push over the uh, ball pythons into the next video. We'll see what really is going on, what happened with that clutch, you know, how's it looking, how's everyone going, and so on. You can look up for that for tomorrow, so uh, maybe you wanna hit that bell button now so you get notified when it comes out. <sighs> always feels cringy when I have to do that. It's, it's just the way it is. And as always, folks, thank you so much for taking the time of your day to follow this journey of life I love to call DBCB Exotics, and we will see you next time. But until then, <sighs> goodbye.